Hey guys, Christo Garcia, my swing evolution. I've got a great video for you guys today. I got to go out and play one of my favorite golf courses. I haven't been there in years, but it's called Rustic Canyon. And a few years back, Golf Magazine rated it as the number one golf course in the country for the price. Yes, I paid a whopping $40 to play an amazing link style golf course. Oh, it is just fantastic. They have pro qualifiers there. It's an amazing golf course, very tricky greens, just some really, really great holes that are all very unique and memorable. Now I wanna tell you guys, you know, I've been doing this straight leg backswing stuff, right? And uh, I've been nursing this thumb. My thumb's been a little, sore because I've been uh, hitting a lot of golf balls. So I'm kind of trying to take it easy. So I was focusing on what Sam Sneed said when he said, swing oily. So I'm just trying to use the mass of my body and my weight shift to make the club do all the work. Um, you know, my teacher, Greg, he says that, you know, there are forces that we create in a golf swing and we can try to overpower them or we can harness them. I think I was harnessing my swing as well as I could. You know, my back was a little bit stiff, and uh, but I, I was able to, to keep myself together. It was really, really an enlightening round of golf. It was beautiful. Now, before we get into the video, I want to tell you guys the first MSE Intensive of 2020 is going to be at the Sestone Golf Academy in Tampa, Florida at West Chase, a beautiful golf course. Yes, we're going to have TrackMan. We're going to have K-Vest, 3D swing analysis. We're going to be working on short game, putting. We're going to be doing the whole nine yards. And these guys are Hogan fanatics. I love the Sestone Golf Academy. Michael and his two twin sons are amazing golfers. And so this is going to be a very special event. And I expect it to fill up very quickly. So if you're interested, hit me up. Christo at MySwingEvolution.com. And don't forget, please click subscribe, hit a like, leave a comment. If you like these videos, it helps us out a ton. And don't forget, I've got a great Instagram, Facebook page, and also My Swing Evolution. If you want to learn more about how I swing the golf club, check out MySwingEvolution.com. Hey guys, out here at Rustic Canyon, this is the second tee box. Uh, I didn't pull my camera out on the first tee box because there was a big line of people waiting to play and you get a lot of, you know, ugly looks. So I didn't film every shot, but I filmed what I could. We walked this day and it's the first time I've walked in probably five years or longer, but uh, it was a wonderful, wonderful day. After this great drive on the second hole, I wound up in a greenside bunker and there's these big tufts of grass. And man, I ended up having a blow up hole. But at any rate, that was the only blow up hole of the front nine. I hit eight of the first nine greens in regulation. I'm out here playing with my buddy, Bobby, Eugene, and another fellow named Jim who worked in the golf industry for many, many years. Great golfers. Bobby. So in my last video, I mentioned that I was nursing a little bit of a thumb injury. So I'm trying to really swing easy. And the model I'm keeping in my head for today is Sam Sneed for rhythm and tempo. Now my main goal is to swing within myself this day and let the club do all the work. Here we are on the fourth hole. It's a short par three. Bobby hit it close, then I was uh, lucky enough to hit it a little bit closer and uh, I finally made my first birdie. Here's Eugene on the fifth tee box, par five. I was just telling myself, you don't have to do anything special. Just swing smooth. The club will take care of it. Oh yeah. Bobby just rips it. This is my friend Jim. Jim is a very good golfer, man. He's a complete golfer with all the shots, short game touch, and great putting. 
Beautiful. I was able to birdie the fifth for uh, my second birdie in a row. Here we are on the sixth hole, little par three. There it is, that's right at it. Here we are on the ninth hole, par five. Money. Nice smooth swing, dead center fairway. You know, it felt really good. It hit driver three wood, pitched it up close and missed the putt. But that was, uh, with the exception of the blow up hole on two, it was a wonderful front nine. Back nine starts off with a par five. I just want to keep swinging smoothly. Yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. Good That's rip, the one. Bob. That's the one, Bobby. After this great three wood on this short par three, um, I had a bad yardage and I blew it over the green and ended up with a, a blow up hole here. Perfect. You know, just a, a couple, couple bad mistakes, and uh, you know, this could have been a really good round, but I'm happy with it. Perfect. Four for four. Now we were uh, walking, you know, I was pushing my uh, big Rodney Dangerfield golf bag and I started getting tired around uh, this swing on the back nine. Good we're starting to come down the home stretch here. Bobby and Eugene nail great drives. That's lovely. I catch mine a little bit thin, wind up in some trouble. Now this is number 16, it's an elevated tee box and when it's real That's windy, mighty. it makes me very Great nervous. Drive, so all I wanted to okay. do was hit the fairway. So, Bobby and Eugene do a great drive. They blast drives without a care in the world. But uh, again, I'm just trying to be cool here and I just take a smooth swing. I hit it a little high into the wind, so I, I was like 50 yards behind those guys. So here we are on the 18th hole. I am tired, my back is killing me. So I'm trying to stick with my routine. I, I line up the ball, I pick a spot in front of my ball to help me with my alignment. I line my club face to the spot. I'm aimed right down the center of the fairway. Now I just want to make a smooth swing within myself. There it is right down the middle. I put it on the green pin high and nice little two putt par to finish the day. Great round of golf. Guys, golf shouldn't have to be so hard. The problem is information overload. There's so much info out there. It's like trying to build a race car by going to a junkyard and grabbing spare parts off of every old clunker. It's just not going to work. I wanted to have a great golf swing, so I narrowed my focus and just studied the swing of Ben Hogan. And guess what? It worked. Today, I'm one of the best golfers at my club. My swing evolution has over 20 million views, and I even got to play Ben Hogan on the Golf Channel. So if you want to become a great ball striker, go to MySwingEvolution.com, pick up the MSE Golf System, and start your swing evolution today. Hit them long and hit them straight.